and welcome to another exciting edition of Foot of Freak, the only show that allows you to discover the African continent through its football. My name is Itumeleng Jose Khadiyahabanda. So excited and delighted to be in your company as we talk all things African football in this edition. Now, CAF was founded in the year 1957 and part of the intention of finding CAF was to grow football on the African continent. 66 years later, here we are and we're seeing a lot of corporates jumping onto the bandwagon of African football, which is definitely steering the ship in the right direction. We talk about that today on this episode. We'll also talk about the AFCON that is taking place in Cote d'Ivoire come next year. But also, we always put the spotlight on African football as we will be joined by the prestigious Hollywood Bets Super League trophy. It's a new one. You probably haven't seen it before, so you'll see it for the very first time on this show. Well, let's kickstart the show in the best way possible. And who better to do it with than Brian Mufugeng, the heavyweight on the airwaves, according to Jess. He is the South African version of Barry White. How are you doing, Mr. Mufugeng? On good, John. How are you doing today? I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you accept that you're Barry White of South Africa? I'm not going to say anything about that one. Okay. You know, uh, but let the music play or let the game play. <laughs> That's all you're going to say now. Well, let's get the dice rolling and get the show on the road. Let's start off by answering last week's trivia question. Last week's trivia question, really simple. We're asking, how many host nations have lost in the final of the WAFCON tournament? You know, we always talk about the 2000s and the older generation, yes. which is us, you know. In, 2000, 2000. in, in 2000, I still remember uh, there was a uh, WAFCON tournament. South Africa played against Nigeria in that final. South Africa lost that final, but the game was abundant. It was 2-0 to Nigeria at that stage and just got chaotic. And eventually Nigeria won that game by three goals to nil. Mm -hmm. Then 2016, there was Cameroon, the host nation again. They played against Nigeria and they lost the final against the Nigerians. And you were at 2000. Surely you were there celebrating. Recently, <laughs> recently the third one, you were there in 2022. <laughs> oh, Morocco. Uh -huh. South That's Africa against Morocco. Yeah. That's how it all get wrapped up. So only three nations have actually lost the final of the WAFCON as the host nations. That is actually insane. The record of women's football, one thing I love about it is that it's not really predictable. And I love that about it. But Nigeria, in fact, if all the tournament they've hosted, they've won it. Yeah. And wh when they've gone away, they've won it. Or they eventually, only nation actually won, besides Nigeria winning their home tournament, it is Equatorial Guinea. Well, there you have it. That's the answer of last week's trivia question. Thank you so much for playing along and sending through your answers. Let's test your knowledge yet again. Another trivia question lined up just for you. Now, you do know that the CAF Women's Champions League is going to be taking place in Cote d'Ivoire. One of the stations that will be, well, the stadiums rather, that will be used is called the Stade Loren de Puco. We are asking you, who really is Loren Puco? This is tricky, Brian. It is tricky, but if you have watched Foot of Freak yeah. and you follow our conversations on the show, yeah. you will know that you did mention that Samuel Eto did something. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it there. Mm -hmm. You will actually be able to figure out what did Samuel Eto do yeah. that made him become an exceptional talent at tournaments. Yeah. I'm not going to mention the tournament and which year, mm -hmm. but it's just clues around who Laurent Poco is and why it is so important for us to talk about Laurent Poco in this show today with the one of us see them named after him. I guess a little bit more tricky. Lauren Puko, who is that person? My 2000. You probably want to sit out of this one or you want Google. to call... Google. Oh, go you can Google. <laughs> or you can call someone who's just like Brian, who is a walking encyclopedia. Send through your answers. It is at Foot Afrique. Use the hashtag, the only one that matters. Hashtag Foot Afrique. Now, Brian, you know, ever since Patrice Mutsipa became president of CAF, there have been an ample amount of changes. And I believe the way in which you judge a president is the way in which how he keeps his promises. Yep. One thing that Patrice Mutsipa has not failed to do is he doesn't just talk. He walks the talk. You know, if you remember when he was running for CAF president, one of the things he spoke about was he wants to change the way the corporate world views football in Africa. Absolutely. One. Number two, he said he wants to amplify and manage to grow the women game. Absolutely. Number, two. Number three, he said he wants to go back to school football mm -hmm. and bring that up so that a young child who's sitting in the rurest or the rarest of places in a village somewhere can aspire to become a footballer mm. or administrator but in football and on the continent and not leave the continent to go and play or be somewhere else. And I think, you know, when you look at 
the stories you're talking about saying the breaking news that are coming out, it just shows exactly that. Yeah. That the corporate world are saying, thumbs up. You have done what you want you to do. You are the right person for the job. And we believe in African football and hence you're putting the money in there. Puma announcement this week. That is Visa insane. coming on board. Yeah. Techno giant coming on board oh. from the mobile point of view. And a Puma one for me is very exciting because most of the African champions on the continent are wearing Puma. Mm. So the referees are going to come up there. The match ball for the Cote d'Ivoire, uh, the, uh, the uh, Afcon tournament is going to come from there. Visa is going to be the ones that are going to come out. You're going to have young kids walking onto the pitch with their role models. What more can you ask for? Oh, man. All I can say is it's it's not even just about um, Patis Motsipa. I think I also just love it for South Africans because I think this for us is direct representation that we can dream beyond the African borders. So, Ndate Motsipa. You know that song, right? Oh, you know, I, you know that, that's the one you would sing. <laughs> <laughs> you know my 2000 line, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's all we'll leave it. When we come back, we continue with the conversations. You don't want to sing with me, Brian? <laughs>